Almost six years ago, Ali Hoffman turned her passion into a full-time gig, becoming a professional doodler. Her business is called Oodles of Doodles. I don't want to be just another consumerism machine where people have to buy things that maybe they don't necessarily need. So I want everything that I do to have a purpose. And one thing that I've been praying about that I really want the Oodles of Doodles to be is a place where I teach people how to pray. And so everything that I share, all the art that I do, um, all the little pieces that I put on Instagram or I send to people, it's all done in my prayer time. She doesn't sell everything she makes, though. In response to what she sees as an especially difficult moment full of confusion and despair, Ali sometimes asks her followers on Instagram for their mailing addresses so she can send them personalized note cards of encouragement. One thing that I really want to bring back into the world and just show the world of simple joy, of that it's okay to be joyful and silly and not take yourself too seriously. Um, and so, Oods of Dudes is something that I always call it, that kind of like is my brand. <laughs> so it's not a serious like a business type of thing in some people's minds, but in me it's very intentional. No, it's whimsy, it's joyful, and you don't take yourself too seriously, honestly. One of her favorite scriptural verses is from Isaiah 43, which says, I have called you by name and you are mine. She explains that this reminder of God's love fills her work with meaning. I could not have these gifts and talents anymore, um, but that will that change my love for Jesus? If I know this, if I know that he's called me personally and that um, I live this relationship through the sacraments, through community, through the church, through the church's teachings, um, then I have everything that I need. And so it gives me confidence to move forward and step out and to make mistakes and to fail and to keep coming back. It's certainly an art to be able to transmit this enthusiasm and compassion to others, drawing out smiles and similar acts of kindness from those who receive her doodles. Five years after his resignation, those who shared his final moments as Pope, his friends and the Vatican spokesman, give us the full story. We recall the most important times of his life in first-hand accounts by his brother and friends. They range from his childhood in Nazi Germany until his retirement in the Vatican Gardens, without forgetting his glory days, proclaimed by the people. Benedict XVI, in honor of the truth.